Welcome back to another episode of Only Fians with me, Karen Elizabeth Fian, and my lovely guests today, lady guests um, from the podcast Lady Journal. Uh, please welcome <laughs> what? Lady Journey. Yeah. But, but I like Lady I like Journal, Journal too. That works just as well. That's our product Wait, that we're hawking my today. Thing. I stink at intros. <laughs> Wait, this is my this is where I put my lady thoughts. <laughs> my lady journal, my thoughts that are like, like these aren't gonna get anywhere on their journey. If they just keep journaling, yeah, yeah. vagina itches. Okay. <laughs> From the that... podcast Lady Journey, it's Thank Katie you. Hannigan and Sarah mm. Tolmash. You guys, Thank hey, you. Thank you. Katie, repeat guest. Uh, Sarah, first time here. First time yes. here, yeah. Well, Sarah was supposed to come last time, and but she I was, had to cancel. Yeah, she was secretly pregnant. That's crazy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, we were trying to land the spaceship. Okay. And it was really hard. We were trying to dock. Doc. Well, yeah, no. <laughs> I had to get a team of scientists to insert the embryo, and it took several that tries. Is so wild to me. Yeah. It's so hot. <laughs> it is. You know what turns me on? It's <laughs> scientists. <Yeah. laughs> I just feel like it, like, did it feel like your body went through a lot? No, actually not. The only thing, not for the procedure, but for, I had to inject myself with a big needle for about 16 weeks. That's crazy to me. And yeah. then sometimes it, I could, could get it where I didn't feel it and it was okay, but yeah. then it was a thick oil, so you have to push really hard, and I had to do it by myself because Joe hates needles. Okay, what a little bitch. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, he goes, if I had to do this, we wouldn't have a kid. We wouldn't have a kid. Yeah. Like, yeah. like civilization would end if men had to do that. <laughs> Man, they can't. Yeah. What a bunch of pansies. Yeah. Do you think that you want to do it? Yeah. Do so they think we want to, like, jab ourselves? Inject. Oh. Yeah, because it's an awkward angle because you have to get in the fatty part. Okay. Here. So th sometimes it didn't hurt, and then other times I'd be like, ow, 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 ow. It yeah, would be yeah, yeah. too painful. I get, um, not to brag, but I'm barren. Yeah. I get um, NAD plus shots in my ass sometimes. What, what is, is that? that? It's like this, uh, it's supposedly, you know, age reversal fucking Oh, I love shit. that. It's a lie. Oh, is it like human growth hormone? Like uh, that kind of thing? It's not fully like stem stuff. It's, okay. um, it's a... We make this chemical in ourselves, but it like depletes like as we age. That's bullshit. So, it's fucking fucked up. And it's like, and as women, like our this and like our muscles like de deplete like 3% yeah. every year. And like we are supposed to eat like mounds of protein to like just stay average. Oh, it's wild. I hate eating protein. I know. I was eating a beef stick at the pool today. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> why don't I have a boyfriend? This is weird. <laughs> <laughs> like, but um, but that was painful. The shots I got in my butt. Yeah, did you have to administer them yourself? They did them. I don't know how you did them yourself. I don't know. Have uh, you ever had to shoot yourself up? I don't think I could do it. Honestly, I'm like, I'm not afraid of needles. Like, I'm okay. But it's even hearing her talk about it, I was like, ah, yeah, ouchy. Yeah. I think for there's something about it that there I did like like the habitual of it the like routine laying out my needles <laughs> Sarah you sicko <laughs> I say hi to my friends down the block <laughs> trading some eggs <laughs> I would put music on and um then there were little things like very heroin-ish yeah. that I would I would sometimes you get a little blood in the needle and I enjoyed spraying it yeah you did <laughs> sicko Become and then my spawn. Yeah. I'm creating life. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking rad uh, now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah. I feel like if I was in the mindset that I really wanted a kid, I think I could do it. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're like, I know I don't. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, you go so far that you're like, I. this is the last step. Right. I'm not going to stop now. Yeah. But I would have to say like the last two days, I didn't want to repurchase a whole set of new vials okay. that I was a little bit short. That I was like, you know, I probably could have quit like a few days ago. It's just to be on the safe side. That's all it was. Okay. So, yeah. I don't think you have to be super particular. What does being pregnant feel like? Sorry, Katie. No, it's okay. Um, I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> the first trimester is awful because you're just sick all the time, like nauseous. Yeah. And then you're tired. So you just don't want to do anything, but that's also my base rate. <laughs> so 
<laughs> it was extra not wanting to do anything. Right, okay, yeah. And then you come out of that and then you feel way better. But now I'm like so aware of my bump that I, you get little like weird pains. Oh, like really? kind of like, like cramps. Oh. I get the kicking is cute. It's like a little flutter. Aww. So it's like like kind of like cute. that. Like a phone vibrate like, almost. Oh, he's trapped. <laughs> he's trapped. <laughs> <laughs> and then um but so now I'm just like aware of him. So I went running today and I bought a bump thing that's kind of like holds your belly down a little bit. Okay. Like a bra okay. for your stomach. <laughs> for your tummy. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And then so yeah, that's, you're a runner. Yes. I try to, but I've kind of taken, I worry about it, but then I've seen girls run up until like three days before they give uh, pregnancy. There was a chick in my GTX class today, which is like treadmill and then weight training, yeah. who must have been like four or five months pregnant. Easily. Crushing everyone. Wow. Yeah. Like, I don't get how you do that. Because I, I still get in my mind like, is this? Is he okay? Right. Yeah. Because like, I would worry about like everything, like heart rate, like. Yeah. What if I drop a kettlebell on my stomach? Like, I'm an idiot. <laughs> like, I'm a what if idiot. I swing it into my cooch? <laughs> well, my theory is like, if I, you worry about everything, but then you're like, if eating cheese was an issue, then every teenage girl that was pregnant would just go and get a large amount of cheese and eat. And call it a oh, day. Are right. you not supposed to eat cheese? Oh, some some cheeses. I think they're always worried about uh, food poisoning, but I've eaten a, f a little yeah. bit. Like, or like fish. I heard you're not supposed to have fish. Well, you can still have a little bit of tuna, but not a lot. You can't have raw sushi. I think it's the mercury. Mercury oh. stuff, right? Yeah. But what like, happens if they get too much mercury? They come out like Jeremy no Piven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a star. <laughs> A charismatic guy. <laughs> oh, oh man. JP. Do you want to have kids, Katie? I do. Well, I always now thought, that Sarah like, does. I, I know. Well, I know. it always I'm puts like, it on the no. forefront for everybody involved. <laughs> I know. I don't want her to get all the attention. <laughs> I know. It's, well, it is actually Sarah's really like my first close friend that has had a baby. I, none of my girlfriends yeah. from college have had kids. None of my friends who are comics really have had kids. Or you know, like maybe somebody has a kid, but they're like, you know, not that close. Or then you not know, that they end proud up like, of it. Move, yeah, right. Huh? It's a yeah, You're like move away or <laughs> yeah, whatever. Like right. not that involved. But I, I always thought like, oh, like one day I'll be successful and then I'll have kids. And mm -hmm. now I'm like, mm. <laughs> 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 the clock's fucking ticking, bitch. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I mean, I. Um, um, you know, I'm in a relationship, so that's good. Right. That's good. I have one, one down. One down. You're one doing down. it it's better than me. Yeah. But you, I'm you also can have pregnant, kids without though. a relationship. <laughs> 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 You're successful enough that you don't need to have a partner. Right. Yeah. Would you and have I a little baby I could just raise a own? baby in my little porn hub. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> just baby. <laughs> <laughs> Is your boy in a bubble of sorts? <laughs> 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 He's very protected. Um... Yeah, no, I I'm, I'm like you. I'm like, I would want to fall in love before I had a baby. Yeah, you want to have it with the right person, I guess, yeah. you know, although I always felt like when I met the right person and I think when Mike and I did get together, I was like, oh, like I could really see myself having kids with this person. But then it like it starts getting down to the line. Like we went to Miami last year and I was like, I'm going to give myself when I turn 36, I'll give myself one year to decide. And then like two weeks later, I had a complete breakdown <laughs> while we were like at Taco Tuesday. I was like, I can't. I just put all this pressure on myself. I was like, no. And then <laughs> We just never it. talked about it again. He was like, okay. <laughs> I love just it. Just ruining taco night. So it's probably a hormonal week. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's also hard to plan because in my mind the whole time I was like, as soon as my career takes off. Right. And then you're like, it's not taking off. <laughs> <laughs> But it's like, it, it's still like, look at Bonnie and Rich. Like they've yeah. only been more successful, like after having a kid. Yes. I look at, they are an example that I was like in my mind. Yeah. But then I'm like, maybe they're the outlier. No, they're not. And like you guys, <laughs> both of you, both you and Joe are just going to keep getting better every year. So it's like, yeah. everything's no. going to be good. I think, I think that's true. I think it's like when you have the baby, I don't think it, you know, it's like, it used to be like 20 years ago, it'd be like into your career, but it's like, it's 2023. Yeah. I think, you know? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. We'll but see. I'm also afraid of having a kid. Like I've always had a, like an intense fear of like the baby, like just like ruining my snatch just coming out yeah. you know like that there's that 
I, you don't mean to be vain, but you're like, if this thing fucking wrecks my body, <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to be anticipating stretch marks any week now. Oh, really? wow. They say one out of two women. And I'm like, all right, I can take a few. But some people get like, like wrecked. They get like <laughs> really <laughs> destroyed. Yeah. Yes. I just love it, though. Cut back to the Vinny Guadagnino episode. He loves stretch marks on women. Vinny Guadagnino. Yes. Oh, there you go, Sarah. My friend. <laughs> he sounds like a perv. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a full on pervert. Yes. <laughs> yes. I've heard that too. I've heard guys don't care about cellulite. My friend also, when she did spray tanning, she said a lot of her clients said keep the bra on or bathing suit on because guys like tan lines. I love because they think they're saying something Outlines. they're not supposed yes. to. Oh, it's naughty, little naughty. Yeah. Yeah. Do guys love huge bushes and unshaped legs? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's what I, I'm great that's- at those. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Sorry, but Vinny also did say he loves oh, bush. Sick. <laughs> he loves Don't let bush. him hear this. <laughs> I'm like such, I've, I've been, I waxed for a really long time, mm-hmm. but I've just like went back to shaving and Same. I'm fine. Yeah. I've never yeah. been that hairy. It's not that serious. Sometimes I feel like having a little hair down there, you know, it's nice yeah. to have the versatility. Yes. Waxing is too much. It like the, the process of like allowing it to grow back um, out, then making the appointment. It's like, oh it, my it God, you have enough shit to do. Too, where it's like, yeah. yeah, just give me a razor. We'll call it a day. Yeah. Not to mention it does hurt pretty badly. Yeah. Like it's like now I just have to like have a Ukrainian woman see me cry. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> it is I remember one time I there was a guy at the place that I bartended. I hooked up with him, but before we hooked up, the day before we went like on a date, but then he told me he wanted me to shave. So then I did, but then I didn't shave enough, <laughs> which made me laugh. So <laughs> according like, to him, you didn't shave enough. Yes. Well, he wanted you to shave everything, everything. But I was like, but you weren't clear. I thought okay. just doing like a close shave would be Fine. good. Yeah. So I was like, oh, so you meant how a waxing. He, how did he communicate that to you? It was like, oh, blatant. <laughs> what a fucking just blatant. Loser. I know. Gross. Yes. Oh gross. my God. I hate that. So gross. Yes. Sometimes when it's like that, I don't, this might sound homophobic, but I'm like, are you gay? Gay. Are you gay? Because it's still fucking pussy, stupid. Oh my God, it makes me mad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Why? Why do you need to, you pedophile? Why? Why I showered. Right. (laughs) You see, you're (laughs) better than me again. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) That's what you get. Yeah. I do like, since I like, it's been like a while and I go on dates, like rarely, I do like, you know, prepare for them. I like, like going out, like getting dressed up and all that. It's hot. It makes it hot when you have a little sexy secret. Yeah. Yeah. I also like sometimes like still like kind of hook up with certain people that happen like spur of the moment. Oh, and then that's when you're like, um, I feel like usually I'm pretty groomed, but then like every now and then it's like, you know, sometimes like. Those, like, the little ones yeah, on the, the side, side that you're like, oh, he's not going to know. Right. Just turn the lights off. I know. And then you go to the pool and you're like, whoa, in broad daylight. <laughs> yeah, I have yeah. some, like, right here. I'm like, hello. I know. It's like <laughs> my it's- gigantic happy trail. <laughs> like, Whoopsie. Like, Sorry, Karen. little girls. <laughs> 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 I'll get that with, like, leg shaving where I think I did it all and then you yeah. go to the pool with... Yep. Comedians, of course. Yep. I'm all by <laughs> missing like, leg. What's happening right, back right, right. hair? Yeah. It's like a yeah. man legs. Or I'll have like one like long knee hair, <laughs> like glistening in the sun. <laughs> like, yeah. And, and then, like the sides too. Yeah. If I like notice that at the pool, it's like freaking Karen's Albanian summer. Well, <laughs> yeah. so every now and then someone will like touch your leg like this, you know, like, hey girl. Yeah. And you're like, <gasps> they <Stop> noticed. It. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I know. Like, don't. Yeah. yeah. It's Whatever. embarrassing. I had a kid one time touch and he goes, hurts. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah, it is like a cheese grater. Oh it's intense. God. Yeah. That like days two stubble. Oh, it, it is. It's up. painful. That'll yeah. You're you like up. walking, yeah. <laughs> walking. You have like a, like, I think when you we used to have skinny jeans, it was better because it would just like suck everything in. And True. now it's like, now I'm just chafing. I know. <laughs> Yeah, but have you ever, does your, um, does Mike have this when he wears pants or socks too much that it rubs the hair off? Joe, not men get that, that and I've never had that happen. And I was like, why can't that happen to me? Your hair is gone. Yeah. That's hilarious. They have one moment, an area where it gets, it's rubbed so much that the hair just kind of doesn't grow there. You have to inspect his body. He <laughs> only wears ankle socks, the last time you've inspected though? his body? <laughs> <laughs> Honey, it's time. <laughs> 
Do you have any hot spots like Joe's like <laughs> Joe list? He has no hair. Hot oh, spots. I think hairy guys are so cute though, I have to say. Yeah. Yeah. Mike has like chest hair. He has like chest hair and he's I like make him grow it out. I think it's so I, cute. I would always prefer a grown out chest hair than like a shave. When I guys don't like shave it. it's yeah. weird. I don't like it. I love it like so thick and it's like all curly and it's like kind of gray and white. I'm like, I just want him to wear like a gold chain yeah. and like open an off track bedding <laughs> Let's go. and kind like, of be slightly mis- misogynist. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be like, Hey, sweetie, hey, sweetie, hey, come, come here. Come here. Come hun. Here. Oh, my I'm old like, lady's ooh. here. And I know <laughs> she's God. a comedian too. <laughs> Are we in good fellows right now? <laughs> Hide the cocaine. <laughs> It yeah, is very it masculine, though. I think I love hairy chest. I like when yeah. I would every now and then there would be like a guy being like, "Oh my god, like my chest is so hairy." It's like, yeah, women love that. We love it. Yeah, we love it. Like it's so bare, it's so masculine, bare animal. It's big. animalistic. Yeah, yeah, it's very little short hairy guy is a little like I don't know. I don't. I don't want him. Mm. I don't know. I like some height. You yeah, like I like short guys. I I, I like short guys because I feel like. I have dated tall guys and I never like the way I look next to them. You know, mm-hmm. I like, I don't want a guy that like looks like, I don't know. That's like my father or something yeah. like n- anything over like a, half a foot taller than me. I can't, I would never do it. I'm all over the place. I like them both, but yeah, I never, I felt like I was never in a position to be picky. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I'll take it. <laughs> as long as they like me back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's how as he's long as he's thing. nice, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah. I didn't mind even dating, um, slight like overweight, like bears. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. Like, oh, I love Lewis a bear. was fat when I dated yeah, him, but yeah. then the next guy I dated was like um, a fitness instructor, so he was just. I like, remember that yeah, guy. Perfect. Yeah, so perfect. Oh my gosh. But before him was the Lucas brother, who was like frail. I Do mean, you know which one? <laughs> never will. <laughs> no, never found out. Never can tell. Yeah. Oh my gosh. No, that's true. You are kind of like all over the place, but but I think that's the fun of dating. It's like you're right. exploring like different types, different people, yeah. like. I think I love that. Like you're like, ooh, like a skateboarder, now a lawyer. Right. Like, oh my god, yeah. who am I? I know, it's kind of like, oh, I have chemistry with a skateboarder. Look yeah. at me. I'm yeah. so modern. And then you date a lawyer and you're like, I guess we don't have chemistry. I know. You're you boring smell as hell. bad. <laughs> what am I doing here? Have you ever dated like like a um professional guy? Like I find them so boring. They're yeah, also no, I can't even get past. Right? I can't even like get past like a conversation. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, oh, what's your favorite color, beige? Yeah, and it's just, like, I feel like those type of guys, too, like, when they find out, like, that we're comics, their egos just won't let them live. Like, they're yeah. like, roll, 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 I'm going to bring the guys to your show. All of that just makes my blood boil. Yeah, yeah, it's, it, it's a, like, a woman speaking as, like, a threat to the alpha. Yeah. The alpha sensibility. I feel like you probably have a lot of professionals that live around here. Yeah. Yeah. But I have, like, a very, like, um... Don't talk to me vibe. From the guy, the I professionals. Send that, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. You have to. It's like you don't want to date a neighbor. No. That's and awkward. I usually have my like, you know, 70 pound wolf with me. Yeah. Yes. I'm not like making a lot of small talk. I'm like, bah. <laughs> <laughs> Especially in New York where you're not like smiling the whole time. Like, no. Isn't this great. Yeah. There's, it's, it's happy. Here. There's one guy who comes into the dog park who's like pretty cute, but like he's just so, you know, like boring. I love his dog. He has like a big mountain dog, mm-hmm. but um, he's just kind of like. I don't know. He's yeah. tall and he has like a bubble butt, but the shorts he wears are like one size too tight. Mm. Ooh, I feel like that's a red flag to me. Yeah. I don't like that. Like, wham. <laughs> you know, like those short shorts? <laughs> no, like khakis. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, he has a mullet. Khakis are bad. Yeah. yeah. It's something about a guy with a right. juicy butt, not to body shame, but I just, I just am like, mm, it. It's I don't like typically it. Typically not for me. I like a guy with tiny legs and like broad shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just yeah. describing my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> no, he legs. doesn't have tiny legs. He does not. He's very strong. <laughs> <laughs> I don't he'll never hear this, but <laughs> if he did, he would be mad. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you want to know something funny? Shannon asked me if I could do his podcast today. <gasps> oh my god. And I just I realized wish you had done it. I it was a it was a tough day for me. It's a hike to get over to that studio from I here. Just, like, from I, anywhere. Yeah. yeah. I just like, and I just got back from Texas kind of. I got back Ooh, on Saturday. Secret group? 
Yeah. How was it? It was really fun. Okay. Are you doing it? I've done it, but I always do it with Joe, so it's always great. But I think yeah. if I did it by myself, I, the numbers wouldn't come out. Yeah, they would. Yeah. Yeah, do it. Okay. Make a little Texas trip out of it. Do Austin and then do Houston. Do okay. Exactly what I just. How did. was it? Did you did you have good like Tex Mex? That's my favorite thing. In- I didn't eat enough. I was like sick when we first landed. I got an IV drip in my hotel room at like four p.m. <gasps> like the day we landed. They had somebody oh in Texas that does that. I know. He I, was pretty cool. Yeah. He was a very well traveled Texan. He was like, I lived in Tokyo. I lived in New York. I lived in LA. Oh my God. Is that part of the IV drip? The guy like, talks your ear off. You're like, sir, please. <laughs> my treatment. He texted me. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh so God. I was like, not eating that much. Mm. I'm kind of bummed about that. That is. That I is ate hotel bummer. food. Like, I just ate like. Ugh. Tuna poke when you're bowls. You're sick on the road. That's the worst. It really is. It's the worst. And you just are like saving a shred of energy for yeah. the show. And it wasn't like I got sick progressively. Like I, I got there and like got sick. I was sick the second I got there. And I did one show the mm. first night and I was like, I have to go to bed. And then I did. Like the IV drip really helped. It really like kicked whatever virus was a brewing out yeah. of me. What was it like? Like a bronchi? Bronchial or it something? It felt like sinusy. Oh, yeah. Worse. That's the yeah. worst for flying, too. I know. My ears are popping. Everything was bad. Ugh. Everything was I bad. Hate it. But yeah, that seriously, highly recommend. Like, if you feel like, you know, you might be getting sick, they just shove you full of vitamin C, zinc, vitamin okay. Bs. And it's like when you take stuff orally, you're only getting like 20 to 30% of it. Yeah. But when you get it in your veins, it's 100. My aunt was doing vitamin B12 shots that she was yeah. giving herself. Yeah. And she said that they were like game She's probably changer. like a rocket ship. She's yeah. probably on- <laughs> just like <laughs> running dense. around, running around to the farmer's market. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> radishes, radishes. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I can't get past the like, I think I have like medical fears from like yeah. being sick when I was little, but okay. like IVs and I- I'm just like, no. You're like, why would I go towards that? I mean, yeah, it yeah. feels scary to me. Yeah. Also, my it. mom was an ER nurse and I would go with her to the hospital, like, you know, every now and then to like pick up the check or whatever. And it was just like every time it was like the east side of Indianapolis. And it was just like a lot of like a lot of like bad stuff going on in there. And just see like a man with like, a, you know, that's shot his eye with a nail gun or something, you know, Jesus. it's just like, oh, it's too scary. That's a lot. Yeah, I get it. My sister has bad veins, so I can't get her. They're tiny. Tiny veins. She yeah. had a tough labor because it was hard for them to get a, oh my God. an IV in her. Yeah. Well, that was part of the reason it was tough. Is she high We also have tiny vaginas in my family. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's small. <laughs> I love it. You never hear anybody being like, my asshole's also tiny. <laughs> yeah. Tiny it's it's a really, it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts to poo. Uh, yeah, you only hear these chicks are like, gaper, I've got a gaper down there. <laughs> oh, yeah, but my sister fun. has a beautiful baby now. Oh my God. He's going to be two in September. He's so fucking cute. Oh, so sweet. He's like painfully cute. Oh, how did she get small veins and you got big veins? I don't know. That's crazy, right? Oh. Doesn't it feel like um, it's kind of like girls with small veins are the ones that are like, uh, <laughs> kind of bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying is your sister's a like, lot. They try to fit like, in a conversation what? as much as they can. They're like, I just can't. It's my veins are really small today. <laughs> oh my god, I would go to brunch, but like my veins are so small. My veins are aching. They're so oh, tiny. You could probably do it because you have really big veins. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just like, you probably don't feel the same feelings as me because your veins are so big. <laughs> I don't want to body shame, but your veins are huge. I actually have fucking huge veins. And my grandmother, I remember when she was in the nursing home, I could see her big, thick veins. And like if I get hot, like my veins just yeah. like pop up. And they like pulse and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It looks gnarly. Yeah. Look how big these fans are. They're yeah. Get, look big. at that one. Get in there. And you're so easygoing. <laughs> you're so nice. <laughs> you're not a bitch with tiny like, veins yeah, at all. I'm so cool about it. <laughs> but Sarah, how are your veins? Um, I don't notice them too much, but apparently um, now along my chest, they get bigger because of getting ready for the baby. Oh, Ooh, baby yeah. veins. Baby veins. Cool. That, baby chest veins. There's yeah. so many fun things that you never know. But like, and then your veins get engorged yeah. in your chest area. The other one too is um, you can get more skin tags. Where I'm like, cool. <laughs> your body thinks it's making what another pregnancy baby. pregnancy book are you reading? <laughs> I feel like it's like a roll doll. <laughs> <laughs> Anything that's happening now, I'm like, 
I Google it and yeah. then it's almost like they just are wherever I'm Googling is just trying to make me feel better. They're like, okay. yeah, skin tags. I, yeah, that's I think that's pregnancy. Yeah, it's kind of yeah. But they fall off. A, they fall off. I have a mole that's getting oh. bigger. It's a it's a mole that like it used to be like so cute and small. Do you and, think I'm a doctor? Yeah. <laughs> Karen, can you take a look at this? It looks like, cool. Yeah. See? Yeah, a, I'm like worried when I'm 80, it's just gonna be like this. Big big well, you can go to Dr. Pimple Popper and she'll oh, lob it off. Yeah, I watched her to fall Dr. asleep P-P. last night. Oh my god, she gave a lady. This lady came in and she had one, not one, not two, not three, not four, but five huge cysts on her head. One of which she'd had for 35 years. What? Oh my god, right? She just never wanted to go to the doctor, and she like handed the lady like one of her cysts, and she was like, "I want to pop it," and like the lady like popped her own cyst, uh, and the laugh after she removed it after she removed. Moved oh, it from her gross. head. It's like laughing maniacally. She's like, ha, 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 "This is disgusting." And I'm like, "This person wow. agreed to be filmed." I know it's oh. wild. How are they like afraid to go to the doctor, but agree to be filmed <laughs> for being disgusting? I bet you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like to answer. <laughs> I bet you they pay for the treatment. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. The show. That's I've, it. I think I've, that's what they do on 600 Pound Life. They yeah. Right. Like, okay, you can. That doctor's the meanest. Do you guys on watch that? On 600 Pound Life? He's, like, he's always like, you are too fat still. <laughs> you did not lose their weight. <laughs> he like doesn't make eye contact with them. <laughs> <laughs> he, this one lady was like, I can't eat any of this food in this hospital. I haven't eaten anything. And he's like. You'll be okay. <laughs> You've eaten enough your whole life to yes. last you. That's what he said. He's brutal, dude. Oh my god. He is brutal. I know. I need him to motivate me. I know. Like, I gotta work out. I mean, today <laughs> we're just going to our own minds. I'm like, I'm like, what are we gonna do? I'm really hammering my legs today. I gotta work on my arms. I haven't been going to physical therapy over the past like two weeks. Well, I guess a week. Oh, because your arm, right? Yeah, I broke that bone right here. Oh, you did? Yeah. When did you break it? Mm. So is it weak now? It's like stiff. It's like I okay. can't bend this. Ooh, ouchie. Yeah. And I was going to physical therapy like two times a week, and she was doing paraffin, like hot wax, and then like pushing Ooh. it and everything. But I've I've also just been like, I'll just lift weights and like hold Mabel's leash tighter, and that'll. What about those hand grippers? Yeah, I should get those. Oh, the little things. Yeah. yeah. One sponsor. Of my friends- yeah. <laughs> hand gripper sponsor. Ooh, hand job. I get signed <laughs> ones with like dicks on them. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> Come on. One of my friends cut her pinky finger off. She cut it off when she was chopping veggies. She had to get it like reattached. <gasps> it was a whole thing. And then she had to go to physical therapy. And she had to like put it in its own little sleeping bag and like every night like do a thing. It was... I picked her up from the hospital when she got it reattached and she was so fucked up. It was hysterical. But it, but it works now? Yeah, she's good now. That's very, I think medicine is wild. Yeah. Wild. Can you can imagine? You can reattach like, that? You're just like a hot girl with no finger. Like, <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> hey. But with the- <laughs> I think Mark Norman dated a girl with one leg and she was so fun. And you're like, of course a one-legged girl is fun. She lost time. it in like a jet ski accident. <laughs> oh or my something. god, I remember this. Yes. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. That's great. And you're like, uh, it was just fascinating. That's your great is, sense of is. humor. Yeah. Always. Yeah, yeah. Well, you have to. Like right. what are, like, hey Captain, <laughs> you know, like pirate, <laughs> a pirate reference. <laughs> well, I would just assume that maybe there would be some slight bitterness, but then I felt like Oh, it makes sense that a really fun person would have their leg right. taken from them. Because <laughs> they're so fun. They're that they've been doing everything. crazy activities like, the whole time. Yeah, like A, they're wild. Yeah. And B, like, they'll be able to handle this. They'll turn a joke. They'll make a joke out of it. I feel like I would not be cool if I had one leg. I Me feel neither. Like I'd be like, are you looking at my fucking leg? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like like if somebody like me came in and was like, I just broke my hand, I'd be like, oh, that's cool. I have one fucking leg. Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. I'd just be on the verge all the time. I, oh, yeah. yeah. I'd love to make it my personality, though. <laughs> yeah, I think. Well, there's that housewife that took her leg off and put it on the table. Yeah, I saw that. She threw it across the room, and I was like, that is probably, I would do that. Right, you got it's it. It's drama. I would yes. take it off during, like, karaoke and yeah. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> when you're singing Journey, <laughs> my, my like, cell relaxed. phone rang. I like pretend it was my phone. I'm like hello, hello. <laughs> oh it's for God. you. I like hand it to people. <laughs> You'd so have great. to have fun. So I told great. you about. There's that half hockey guy that I was like messaging for a while. I don't know if you saw my joke that I posted about him 
being in the Special Olympics when he's really in the Paralympics. It's like, I, how oh. many facts am I supposed to hold in Wait, my brain? He's, what do you mean he's half hockey? He plays um, half hockey. So what does that mean? Oh, is he like in a wheelchair or something? It's like they don't, they, it's not wheelchairs. They strap him into these kind of like toboggans. These okay. Oh, wow. Sleds. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Half hockey is like its own thing. I'm going to be honest. I named it that. Because oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know like regular <laughs> hockey. It's not clear. <laughs> yeah, you're telling me shit. I'm going out into the world like, well, he was a half hockey player. <laughs> As though that's like the you formal like, term. What's on the other half? Pepperoni? <laughs> <laughs> half Hawaiian, half what hockey. What sport is he half into? <laughs> oh, I see. Wow, this is really interesting. I mean, it's super badass to me. Like, absolutely. These guys are like all like legit athletes. Like a ton of them are probably, I don't know if this is true, but I think they're, a lot of them are veterans. Oh, <clears> okay. that's really awesome. Um, a lot of hockey players are, I find, actually pretty attractive oh yeah because oh. i remember in houston we had a hockey team for a short bit and they came to the laugh stop at the time all of them geez Sarah. yeah they won so, something you, uh, you sell oh tickets in houston yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't for me um and i Sarah, just remember that's being fan base. That's my fan base um i just remember being like because i've paid attention to sports and i was like i actually think hockey players might be the more attractive they're so fucking Athletic hot. people. Ooh, they're like the opposite of firefighters. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cold. Any any sport but, where guys are like fighting around yes. and stuff, you're like, oh, it's okay. so hot. It is. Hockey's like MMA on ice, kind of. Yeah. Like there, there are pucks and sticks or whatever, but yeah, yeah. Yes. there's like fights every game. Although I don't love boxing. I feel like boxing is like a little too much. It's like, I just want you to like wrestle around a little bit and yeah. then play the game. I don't want you to just be like punching a guy in the head I know, over until and over. it's like blood is spraying. I know. And it's like, yeah, he's going to hit his wife. Like the more you hit him. Because <laughs> yeah. it's yeah. not, you always, there's a lot of those cases. Yeah. They do hit their CTE. wives. That's where they practice. Yeah. <laughs> I feel, yeah. I feel like when you watch boxing too, it's like all I'm thinking about is like the guy that's losing. And yeah, I like, know. That's fucking, like we have to watch this guy like just go through the worst moment of his life. Right. And we're like, yay. And he keeps thinking he's not going to lose. Every time he's like, I got, and then he just yeah. keeps getting hit. Yeah. And then at other sports, when you lose, at least you just kind of like go home and you can have your meal or whatever. Right. But they, when you lose in boxing, you get Parkinson's. <laughs> I, know, I, know. I don't understand why that's like. Why do we root for that? <laughs> yeah. We're like, yay, you gave that guy brain damage. Woo! Yeah, yeah, he's not well. You're great. Yeah, it takes forever to get back to where they can fight again. Yeah, why don't they just make it shorter and get better at judging? It's like, why don't yeah. they just like have a tea party? <laughs> yeah. You know, like, why don't they just like. Mm, pick Why don't some... they make the gloves out of cotton candy oh my and God. you can't <laughs> touch each a other? Dining room, okay. maybe. Yes. Uh, maybe and then a added... battle of the wits. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> a pen to Jeopardy. pen challenge. Yes. <laughs> Who can write the sexiest poem? <laughs> oh. But it's like then, like I feel, ugh, but like animalistically, like I'm still so attracted to guys who fight. We don't want to. Oh we don't care about the girls. Women slapping each other. Oh, oh my God. <clears throat> Of course, those guys are involved. Oh, she had a tooth guard at least. This Aww. is what Katie and I do before Lady <laughs> Journey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're like, scented candles! <laughs> I would, if, Wait, I would get a new see if I could wear those outfits. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great outfit, I will say. They, they're very cute. <clears throat> well, they all braid their hair really tight so you don't pull their hair. <gasps> Oh, she did like, it really uh, well. He kind of hit her up. She kind of hit her upside the head. Is this the fight or is this just like pre-fight? <laughs> That's oh, the, that fight? the fight. They each get one slap. Oh my god! I like the women's. The women were just like relegated to. I, I know. I was like, I'm like anti-boxing, but it's like, well, let the women beat the shit out of each other if you're gonna let the men do it. Yeah. I just like when men know that they should be beating the shit out of each other, you know? Yeah. Like, that's how they should be spending any free time. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, not learning. But I can't no. imagine, like, that's my husband's thing that he does, where right. I was like, you were so good up there tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you really beat that man until he <laughs> passed out. Ooh. Oh my God, these guys are, wow, he knocked him out. That guy looks like he's about to get knocked out. <laughs> I love that we're watching this. Wait a minute. Can I say something? 
I feel like he got scared and knocked himself out before he got hit. <laughs> that yeah. was rough. Oh, wait, did you ever do like a slap shot? We used to do that in college. You would like take a shot and then your friend would slap you in the face. Whoa, Katie. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, it was fun. I thought I went on liberal arts college. <laughs> I thought I went. Yeah, we would say like a line from Medea. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Thou shalt not. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god, that's so funny. It was. I fun. never did slap shot. Oh, it was fun. Yeah. Well, that's okay. You could you could do it with um you know, Lacroix, juice, something. Yeah, I feel like it's not gonna. It could be, be a same. virgin slap shot. Okay, like a mocktail. Yeah, yeah a mocktail. Oh, I got grenadine all over the place. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. Yeah, mocktails. I don't love them. It's a lot of have sugar. To, it's like, yeah, what it's am like, I? What am I pounding this extra sugar for? Just to right. have a fancy umbrella. Yeah, like drink? mixing juices. Yeah, yeah, and I'm then good. it's fifteen dollars. Yeah, right. we're like, but there's no liquor in here, so why is it fifteen dollars? Although I do spend uh, like eight dollars on a juice. Right, that's, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, like a pressed juice. Ooh, I love it. I love a fresh press, a green juice. Yeah, but I was doing that for a while, and then you actually have to get like a shit ton of produce. You know what I do? I mix it in the Nutribullet so I don't actually juice it. Okay. Because then I don't have to worry about cleaning the juicer. I, I used to have one. I would make it. I would never do it because I just the thought of cleaning it would just. Right. I've been doing cucumber, celery, spinach, green apple, ginger, lemon. Oh, sets me. It sets me on the path. <laughs> Let's hear it. <laughs> sets me on the path for health, wealth, and vitality. I drink it and I'm like, mm, feeling better. Yeah. <laughs> do you have a metal straw? I have I silicone straws. <laughs> what? Yeah. You're ahead of the curve. I like the silicone ones because you can kind of chew on them and just like put it really far back in your throat and just guzzle it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, like intubating myself. <laughs> I like, I try to get like smoothies and stuff from the gyms, whether it's juice press at Equinox or life. Lifetime has their own like cafe. Yeah. But Lifetime carries like this protein that they put in like half their smoothies that has that like fake stevia monk fruit thing. And I can't stand it. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like sweetener <clears throat> taste it's except Diet stop. Coke. The only you protein like powder. Coke? Oh, yeah. I like, oh, I love a Diet Coke. You can't drink a Diet Coke. Yeah. <sighs> love good. it. The taste of the tang of the chemicals. The I know. Because it's the better tang. than Coke Zero. Coke Zero I never got into. Yeah. And regular Coke, I'm like, I don't, I don't like this at all. I, I just love. Have, I do like regular Coke, but I haven't had it in ages. Oh, you don't even discriminate. Regular diet, you like them both, but you I haven't do. had. But I won't. I try to cut out sugar wherever I can and yeah. put more aspartame. Yeah. In. Yeah, it's healthy for the baby. What, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> What's aspartame? Or whatever the the thing that they put in all all sweeteners. Oh. Yeah, it's like the fa it's like a chemical sweetener. But can I tell you my protein powder that I love? Yeah, Vega. No, not Vega. It's like Organic Garden. The chocolate um, vegan protein is really, really good. Okay. Do you and Mike share the same protein powders? He doesn't. He doesn't um, ever have protein powder. He, he doesn't just, partake in that. No, I. It's surprising, but yeah, he just eats like a pound of beef at every meal. <laughs> <laughs> he has a salami. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's just always pounding meat. <laughs> yeah, but no, he doesn't like. Um, he doesn't like to eat have like processed stuff. So, but I, I have to have, I love a protein powder. Ugh, so yummy. I do too. I do the vital proteins. I have like a chocolate blackberry and then mm. their matcha has collagen too. Ooh, yummy. I want to get that. collagen do? I don't know. It just fucking makes me feel better than other people. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like, it's supposed to, it's supposed <laughs> like, to be good for your skin, but it's like, who knows? Who knows? I know. I always hear that. And I wish there was a drink that you're like. I'm hotter. Like it shows you that you get 50% yeah. hotter after you drink it. <laughs> I know. But I've never seen results for anything. It's no. so tricky because you could be like, you know, like sometimes you're just like, oh, I'm doing a juice detox. And then it's like, well, now I look like I'm wasted away right. and I lose weight. I'll lose. I gain weight here, but I lose it here. <laughs> and so then I just look like I have like just uh, surviving like... <laughs> Like I've been on like naked and afraid, just like in the wilderness. <laughs> yeah, you're like, giving Selma high, not Selma Hayek, Selma Blair right now. <laughs> yeah, you're Selma Blairing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blaring out. Sorry, everyone. Oh man, it's this Selma Blair witch project going on over here. Uh, yeah, I so I, I'll lose weight up top too. It stinks. 
because I would prefer you to gain lose it weight here. Yeah, here, here, and like right below my belly button. Oh, mm-hmm. interesting. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like I w- I would love to gain some like here, right? No, but you it never just gain never it where goes you want there. it. No, you never get it where you want. I'm it. just like an apple body, and now it's even apple more body apple. But jeans <laughs> and the boots. <laughs> I love that video. It's a girl with a big midsection and tiny legs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I you, remember that song. It takes me back to high school when that song came out. It was oh like God. so popping. <laughs> yeah. I, well, I was just thinking, I was like, I was probably 10 years. I was 30. <laughs> I know, I'm trying to think too. I'm like, I don't remember. But then I started thinking about high school and the song Glory Days like played the other yes. and I was like, I hate this fucking song. The Springsteen da, song? Da, da, yeah. Da. Yeah, that's a, it's like, ew, don't play. We're like hanging out. We're not trying to like cry about yeah. like our cousin who died in a motorcycle accident I, or something. I don't want it. Ugh. I get annoyed when I hang out. Uh, not annoyed, but like, you know, when you're kind of like at the stand and then you're hanging out with another comic and then they say something and you realize that you're 20 years older than yeah, they are. Yeah. And then you're like, I fucking hate you. <laughs> <laughs> like, like Marcelo like comes into the green room and like starts playing whatever fucking Bad Bunny song is like cool right now. Yeah. And then he like he makes like a hologram appear out of his watch. I'm like, <laughs> why are you the future? <laughs> Get out of the stand green room. And I'm just like, can you teach me how to copy and paste? <laughs> yeah. Help me with my TikTok. <laughs> Please help me with edit my TikTok. I'll see like an like a 60-year-old woman on TikTok and I'm like, how did you learn how to get on here? Right. Who oh, brought yeah. you here? Yeah. Who I, led you here? <laughs> <laughs> did you fall into a portal or something? I love an old woman on TikTok who she's she lives in Italy. She's married to an Italian guy. Her name is Elizabeth Mincelli. And she every day it's just like her. She's like, today I'm going to the market. And she just has like this fabulous life. She eats like handmade chips and stuff every day. But yeah, like with her, I'm like, how is she doing this? Like, do you have grandkids that taught you how to do this? Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm where I got my dad movie pass for his birthday. And I might as well have opened it like a portal to hell for him <laughs> because you, in order to get into the movies, you had to get the app on your phone. Of course he had the iPhone from six years ago. <laughs> <laughs> so then I had to update the operating system. <laughs> and then when you go there, you have to like open the app and then type in numbers. And I'm like, he's never going to do there. this. Yeah. Gonna... It it's was gonna livid. Be so much worse when we're old. It's oh going to be God. so out of control. I know. Like, kids are going to go up to us and be like, they're like, obviously, you just go like this. And yeah. And you're like, <laughs> uh, what? I miss my old iPhone. <laughs> yeah. It's like, just look at it with your brain and tell it what you want. And you're like, I, my family's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all alone. <laughs> I follow people like that have these fabulous lives, too. I follow. I follow this lady who, like, lives in this perfect French cottage or whatever. Ooh. And, yeah, she, like, wakes up and her, like, babies play with the bunnies in the lawn. And Oh, it's so fun. She yeah. makes, like, zucchini potpourri or whatever. You know yeah. what I mean? It's just, like, everything's so perfect and colorful. I'm like, where are your finances coming where from, lady? Yeah. It's the money. The yeah. <laughs> where are That's the my sex comments. slaves that you've profited from? Yeah. Have you ever seen a friend of yours in the comment section on TikTok? And then you're like, hey, that's embarrassing. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I didn't think I'd see you here. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, man. it is wild when people comment on the videos of people that they don't know. Mm-hmm. I like, do, That's the only place that I go wild with comments. Do you? What do you say? I just like chi- chime in, try to like, la- leave a funny comment or just like ask questions or be like, um, we're, or call out where like, well, this doesn't make any sense. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel like you're leaving out information here. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah. I'm calling them on the carpet. <laughs> on there. But like this, any other app, I don't do that. Yeah, but this for video is really t- misleading. Yeah. I have a husky and she will not balance a treat on her nose. <laughs> well, there was one of a mom shaming her kid for how dirty his room is. Oh and God. I was like, th- I go, this is actually 
quite fucked up. <laughs> yeah, good for yeah, you. Yeah. There's so many abusive parents on TikTok <laughs> that nuts. they're like, well, she thinks yeah. that she's going to sit over there. It's right. like, you should be, you, uh, CPS is at your door. Yeah. They're, they're like these pranks where they like tell them their like grandparents died or whatever, but it's like not real. Yeah. But they wait till they're full on crying and they're like, just kidding. Grandpa's alive. Yeah. It's like, what the fuck? Yeah, I know. And then you look and they have like 5,000 followers. You're like, it's not worth <laughs> it. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Yeah. He's crying <laughs> like in sickos. Yeah. I know you're like you're a terror. You're That's, a terror. Yeah. You're not even a prank show. Yeah, it's sad to realize like you you grow up and you're like oh some people just never become like good. No, they're just nightmares. I, I was watching some video and it's like family had like a poo room for their dogs inside what? the house. Inside the house, a whole room where the dogs would go and shit, and it was like not clean. It was just like dog shit everywhere. Ew! Oh, that's gnarly. I know. And they were just so nonchalant <laughs> about it. They're like, yeah, they're in the poo room. Oh my God, imagine you grow up in that house and you're just like out, like you're in high school. Like, is this your guys' nice poo room? <laughs> is this where you let your animals shit uncontrolled guys, in here? Don't have a poo room. Like, that's that's so where I funny. do my crafts. <laughs> what are you talking about, you fucking weirdo? My, my mama says I'm not allowed to go over there because y'all don't have a poo room. <laughs> <laughs> I do think there's something, there is something like really funny. I had a, a friend in high school. She was like wacky and fun. And she was like, I want to have a baby. And then like every time I make them mashed potatoes, I'm just going to put green food coloring in it just for their whole life. And then they're just going to go <laughs> like yeah. into the adult world and be like, these potatoes are fucked <laughs> up. <laughs> How dare you? That would be so funny. <laughs> just like one kind of Truman. Uh, yeah. Yeah, one thing. little Easter egg. Yeah. <laughs> to, you know, like like with Santa Claus or God. <laughs> right, like you know. Same. Yeah. Easy. That was my favorite thing, though, of spending the night over at a friend's house where um, you're like, oh, you guys are, you do it different here. Yeah. When you pick up on a vibe or yeah. you're like, oh, your family culture is different. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Like your family was the only one that like felt normal to you and like mm-hmm. everybody's routine like made sense. And, yes. Like, uh, yeah, there was some, I guess, like, I was friends with this, like, rich chick, and, like, everything was just opulent, and, like, you were so afraid of touching anything, and, like, no shoes anywhere. Ooh. Yeah, she had a fucking Ultima, and it was, like, a pimped-out Ultima. Wow. She had tinted windows. We were 16. Oh, yeah. my God. Her parents were travel agents. I think they had good years and bad years. <laughs> <laughs> COVID. That was a bad year. <laughs> I know. Would have been a bad year. I remember going but over yeah. to a friend's house and her parents smoked oh. in the house. And then they all smoked. And I and everything the was kids. always dark. Yeah. Well, this was on high school. And right. I just remember being like, Oh, this we don't do this over work. <laughs> <laughs> oh yuck. I mean, my mom would wow. go like sit in chain smoke with this lesbian couple. Like when I was growing up, when I was very yeah. young, like she'd be like, I'm going to Marianne and Joanne's. Do you want to come? And they had a dog named Wicket. So like initially I was always like, yeah, let me go see that dog. Yeah. But then after like five minutes, I'd be like, oh, you guys are just trying to kill each other. Like it was. <laughs> yeah. Know. Why? Like it was just cigarette after cigarette. Wow. Chain smoking inside. I, I'd like that in my 20s. That's what I did. But I never <clears throat> did it inside. I did. Yeah. I smoked. I remember smoking inside a few times, and just then, like the walls would just be stinky. Yeah, yeah. And I was like everything. Oh. Yeah, you. That's... I was like in a really bad place once, like after a relapse. Okay, and mm-hmm. like the only way that I could like stay sober was like I would smoke myself to sleep every night. Gotcha for like a month. <laughs> That's how me with TikTok. I'm like, Sick. one more. <laughs> no, Katie, no. <laughs> I don't know what's worse. They're both bad. <laughs> Because I was, I was, I was a vile. And my, one of my roommates was like, can you stop fucking smoking cigarettes inside? I was like, yeah. And then I, but then you get pissy when they get mad at you for smoking inside. Yeah. I'm like, what? Stop acting like you live here too. (laughs) Fuckers. Oh man, this is a really good podcast. What do you guys got going on? Individually, together? Together, we are podcasting (laughs) away. We're podcasting away. we are our podcast another lady dimension. Journey. We have um, a YouTube channel, <laughs> and it, all the all the episodes are on there. Let's go! Everybody yeah. can watch them; they're free. Lady it, Journey. Do you guys do you get comments on your YouTube's? Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're we got all one. Pat, but I, it, feels, <laughs> it feels like they're different people. Did, Sometimes it's Joe. Yeah. Some people oh. are infuriated by our soup recommendations. They hate this. What? Well, somebody <laughs> got mad at us. They were like, we had a guest on, and one of the comments was like. 
it's not all about you guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, stop talking over her. I know. I was like, oh my God, I felt so bad. I was like, I thought she had a great time. I know. I, at first, and then I was like, oh, that must have been a clip. That's unfair. And then I went back and I'm like, oh, it's the full episode. <laughs> I know. It's really hard to go. Because we do, we just did one-on-one, like the two of us. And then now we've been having more guests. And mm-hmm. it's it's actually like kind of hard to adjust because I will, I will just talk without stopping for... for uh, I don't know. I don't know how long <laughs> I'll never fucking stop. I'll never stop. <laughs> and then you have somebody on there and it's like, well, they didn't say anything. I'm just filling the space with my thoughts. Okay. No Maybe. downtime. Yeah. yeah. No, I know. But I feel like we're all like that kind of. Yeah. We just can't help it. Well, I, I think like too, like when you're, when you have like a comedy vibe, it's like people are like jumping in. Everyone's like jumping in. Right. But then if somebody isn't used to that, then they're like, God, yeah. she's a lot. <laughs> Have you ever podcasted with somebody who it's like clear that they're not listening, but they've had a joke in That's their our podcast. That's, That's our podcast. <laughs> That's our podcast. Like, Sarah's like, so Sarah, what do you think? I'm like, oh, hello, my baby. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard the, to be in the or, moment. Or they're like holding a joke in their brain, but they hold it for so long that the topic pass, but then they try to throw it in. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Everybody's like, what? That was like 10 minutes ago. Yeah. Sometimes well, that's how I feel. That, yeah. yeah. It's well, hard. That's why I won't do... Not that they ever asked me, but Legion of Skanks. <laughs> I'm like, ever asked me. <laughs> how do you get a word in edgewise? It's so yeah, hard. Like, yeah. Anyone here interested in women's rights? <laughs> 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 uh, you wear a full suffragette outfit. <laughs> I'm actually here to protest, but <laughs> since I have a microphone, I have a few dates I'd like to plug. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Oh, I was lucky because last time I did it, I was on with a rich boss. So I oh, just gave fun. him some rice pudding. He was tied up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tell the people how they can follow, where they can find, if you've got dates. Oh, with, I uh, have a, my how spe- can they support my you? My special is on YouTube now, so you can yeah. watch it. It's um, Katie Hannigan uh, forever on YouTube, I guess, but just Google my name. And it, it, Instagram, TikTok. <laughs> I just am like slowly giving up on comedy. Sarah, you're gonna <laughs> like, make me pee my dress. Wherever you feel like it, <laughs> use your intuition and you will find me. It's at Stalamash everywhere. <laughs> yes. Follow Katie, follow Sarah, check out their podcast, Lady Journey. I'm such a fucking idiot. And um, thank you. And please, if you haven't subscribed to YouTube, subscribe to it. It's only, only, only she is.